Hello everyone, Nebkex here and welcome back to Neb Raids for what I hope is going to be a pretty mind-blowing video. Um, it's going to be part one of a two-part series I'm going to be doing this week, uh, really diving in-depth into what your actual chances to pull champions from shards are, how those tend to be way different actually from what it seems, uh, and how that affects or should affect your decision-making process. So for example, Fairly straightforward mats here that I've used before. Your average cha uh, average shards to get a legendary champion. Surely it's about 100 uh, in 2x events and about 200 in non-2x because, of course, we've got 0.5%, which gets doubled up to 1% with Ancients and Void shards here. We'll also look at Sacreds today. Not actually true. Intriguing. We'll see. Let's dive in. We'll find out more. Also, I am aware that we do have... Um, an extra legendary event coming tomorrow. So I'll give you some insight into that as well uh, later on in today's video. Um, let's dive in. So what we're going to be basing this video off is this amazing chart that was put together uh, by Chosen uh, over with the Aftershock uh, group. So I encourage you to go watch Chosen's video. <laughs> Here it is. Uh, they're not actually 2x events because of this. So he did a video on this actually uh, almost two weeks ago. A uh, very popular video as well, so you may have seen it already. Uh, also, I was checking out a guy called Biohack or SL. He only has 17 subs. Go toss him a sub. He did a video on this back at the end of January, so almost a month ago, where he was breaking down very, very similar figures. Uh, and both of their sheets are available in the descriptions of their video. So go to their videos if you want to get these actual sheets that we are looking at in today's video. And this is what it actually comes out at, which is totally crazy. You do not have. <laughs> it's not going to take 100 shards to get a legendary in a 2x. It's not going to take 200 in a non 2x. How many does it actually take? And Nubkex, what the heck is going on? How does this actually happen? Well, in a non 2x for your ancients or voids, it actually only takes, on average, 128.5 shards to get a legendary. And during 2x events, it only takes 87.3 to get a legendary, which leads, by the way, to the very shocking conclusion that when you compare the ratio, you actually do not get twice as many legendaries. You don't in a 2x event. In fact, you only get 1.47 times the amount of legendaries, which is quite a lot less than double, isn't it? It is quite a lot less, and that leads us to some pretty big conclusions. Um, before I, I dump too much on 2x events, I actually invite you, I'll tell you the answer, of course, in a couple of minutes, but I invite you to, there is one big advantage, one really big advantage to 2x events, so I invite you to, to guess what that is in your head, and then I'll tell you the answer in a bit, but there's one really, really, really strong reason, in my opinion, to pull for 2x events um, uh, that kind of trumps even this sort of weaker than we thought amount of legendaries. So first, I'm sure you're asking as well, Nubkex, how the heck does this happen? How are you getting, you know, if you got a 0.5% chance for a legendary, how's it only taking you 128.5 shards? That is blatantly ridiculous. That doesn't make any sense. And indeed, it seems so at first. What is actually happening, though, is this is the power of the mercy system. So after 200 summons without a legendary, our chance to get a legendary per shard is actually increasing. And what actually happens here is that, you know, obviously it's not like you pull 200 shards and it's not a guaranteed event on your 200th shard. The legendary pops out. No, of course not. You could pull a legendary on your first shard, on your second, your third, etc., etc. In fact, if you want to look on this sheet, it actually shows you the chance of the first legendary appearing on this shard. Uh, which obviously goes down because it, it could appear on previous shards as well. But basically, you've got, you know, you have a chance the whole way along. So, you know, for all of these early shards, you could get it. Now, imagine a world where you don't have the mercy system. You're probably so used to the mercy system and how it affects things. You're so used to thinking about it. But imagine this wasn't in the game. You could pull 200 shards, get no legendary. You could pull 250 shards, no legendary. 300, 400, 500, 600 shards. You'd be unlucky. You would be unlucky to go that far. But you could, in theory, pull 600 ancient shards and not a sight of a legendary for you. What the Mercy system does, it actually takes this big distribution of where those pulls are going to go. And it basically takes all of those ones after 200, 
all that bad luck that you could have and it squashes it down. It squashes it down. Um, and what that means is basically long story short is that although yes, it typically takes you 200 shards on average to hit a legendary with the mercy system, you can still get lucky. You can get lucky and you can get it in less shards, potentially much less shards, but you can't really get very unlucky with ancients and voids. The worst luck you can have is going 20 beyond what you would expect. Uh, and it's a pretty big deal. So for example, right here, your odds that you actually go into the mercy system, right? Although it's one in 200. So you go, oh, what, 200 shards, right? 200 shards, I should get a, a legendary. Well, actually not so, because of course, you've got that spread. Some people get lucky and that's why the 200 average, but then some people have to be unlucky to balance it out as well. In fact, if we go down, you will see that um, on the 200 shard, uh, your chance to not get any legendary is actually 36.88%, or roughly speaking, what's that? 63% chance you've got a legendary. So that's a really big bunch of people. One in three people, one out of three times, you know, you're not getting it in those first 200. It's going past that. And again, all of that bad luck because of the mercy system is completely getting squashed down. You can see these chances are going down very small, very small. We hit mercy and suddenly the chances are absolutely plummeting until it's basically impossible not to get a legendary. In fact, by 220, it 100% chance. Like it, it is literally impossible not to get a legendary by then. And yeah, look, there you go. You add this stuff up and it has a huge effect. Now, when it comes to 2x, why is 2x then only actually a 1.47x for legendaries? Well, because of course the mercy system is not as effective there, right? Because now you're expecting a legendary one in every 100 shards, but the mercy system hasn't changed. So, you know, you hit 100 shards and that's pretty average luck. But when you start going past 100 shards, you're starting to hit your bad luck. But then you've got from 100 shards to 200 shards, you've got a big chunk of bad luck during a 2x event. And the mercy system isn't actually squashing that down. It's not actually helping you until you get to the 200 shards. There's still a chance you get there. There's still a 13.4% chance you pull 200 shards in a 2x and no legendary, the mercy system has to save you. And that's why this is weaker, essentially. Um, and yeah, that's how this comes out. So it's pretty crazy, right? When you put this in, the same thing happens with sacred shards. And actually this surprised me, to be honest, that it's very similar in the sacreds. The sacred mercy system is worse than the ancients, right? You start getting 2% boosted chance after 12 summons without a legendary. So it's, it's significantly worse. Um, but it still does have an effect. You can see that although it's a weaker mercy system, your chance to actually reach the mercy system are substantially higher than it is with ancients or voids. You're much more likely to go into sacred mercy in both cases. Uh, and that's, I guess, how it has a bit of a bigger effect. And nonetheless, it still comes out a 2x event for sacred shards. You're only 1.55 times. You're going to get 1.55 times as many legendaries in a 2x as in non-2x nowhere near double the legendaries nowhere near whatsoever which is really striking that is how powerful these mercy systems are that it really throws things off now what does this mean in practice well one thing uh one thing for example is that right here in game consider a double legendary event an extra legendary event now Kind of the way that you would normally look at this is you go, well, we've got a 2x event this weekend for ancient charts, right? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're expecting a 2x ancient chart event. That's basically the same, isn't it, as an extra legendary event from ancient charts? Well, actually, in terms of legendaries, no, it's not. That if you pull in a 2x ancient chart event, compared to pulling in these extra legendary events, you're actually going to end up with way less legendaries because... You get double the legendaries in a double legendary event. The big downside, of course, is that if you don't hit a legendary in the double legendary event, if you don't hit a legendary, you get nothing. So in order for this to work, you really need to be in a situation like I am here. You need to have enough ancient shards that you can hit that mercy timer. And so long as you can guarantee that you pull a legendary, you've got enough shards for that, you're going to get twice as many. And then just save up for the next double legendary event and rinse and repeat, basically, you're going to get way more legendaries, way more um, than you would from a 2x event. It's not the same, which is crazy. What is the big advantage of a 2x event? Well, actually, I said there's one big advantage. I guess the other big advantage I just mentioned, which is you don't need 
uh, to have a bunch of shards to make it work. Whereas for double legendary events, 10x events, etc., um, you really want to be closer to your mercy so that this you know, actually starts to have an impact. Um, well, the big advantage is that epics, guys, that is the big advantage for 2x events, right? Epic Mercy is much weaker. You can see your chance to hit Epic Mercy is much lower. And the Epic Mercy, by the way, is really weak as well. It's only 2% per shard, to extra chance to get an Epic. It's, it's quite poor. Funny enough, it still has an impact. I actually would have thought this is completely negligible, but no, it actually does have an impact. And you can see that in terms of Epics, again, it's not quite a 2x, actually, because of Mercy system. It's actually a 1.82x. But nonetheless... That is still a dramatic increase in the amount of epic champions you're going to get. And in my opinion, for most players, I would say for at least the first year, first 12 months of playing the game, that this is what you want to do. Um, because, you know, I was, I think I bought six daily gem packs uh, in the first year of me playing this game. So I'm very familiar with, you know, being a low spend or free to play type of player. Obviously, not technically free to play in that sense, but for six months I was, I think. But anyway, the point is that at that point of the game, your roster is going to be built on for faction wars, for Hydra, clan boss, Doom Tower, dungeons, everything. It's going to be built on a small number of good rares, uh, mostly built on good epic champions, and then a a medium scattering of like login legendaries, a couple of legendaries that you get lucky and you pull, and then fusions, fusion legendaries. That is what your game is built on, but mostly epics, and you need to get those good ones. So like I'm talking about champions like uh, Deacon Armstrong, Inquisitor Shamael, Godseeker Neri, like these are game changers, Mordecai, etc. That's just from Sacred Order, and there's more in there too. There are so many of these epics that are game-changing. Geomancer, Ugo, Royal Guard, all of these, and you want to get them. So again, for that first year of playing, I'd be saying go for these epics, go for the epics. But, but when you get further than that and you end up in a situation like me, well, I think you kind of saw at a quick glance, I have basically nearly all of the epic champions. Like I miss Kuramis there, who I actually think is pretty good, but I've already done a video on him. So he's not that important for me to get, you know, but um, I've got most of the epics nearly. Um, so it's not that important. It's not that important to me uh, to to get them. It's not that important anymore. Um, so that has a, yeah, that, that's basically what happens, right? There you go. I actually thought I had Akimtum. That's why I got a bit thrown off my game there. I thought I'd pulled him. I guess I haven't. I must have pulled somebody else. Whoops. I thought I had him. Anyway, anyway, um, there you go. Now I have another interesting, I thought another interesting thought experiment would be if I come over here, right? And what we have here, let me show you this as a comparison. So I haven't talked about these yet, but you're guaranteed summon events. Um, this was why I kind of am, I've been pretty slow. Honestly, I've been pretty slow getting to doing this video, apart from the fact that I'm a layman in maths, right? You know, this is completely, I think Chosen said that Senti as a community member helped him a lot on this sheet. Uh, and then um, obviously we have Biohack, his sheet as well, right? But for me, I'm a layman in terms of maths. Like I, I, I don't know how to work this stuff out myself. I'm just giving you my, my take on it, my interpretation. Um, but for me, basically the way that it, it worked. I became a content creator actually around when Gamoran was guaranteed back in December 2021. And I've been making videos since then. So we'd actually had a bunch of guaranteed events. And you can see that during 2022, these guaranteed events were pretty fast and furious. Um, and even with my layman's mats, which was not quite correct, was able to work out that these guaranteed events are actually really good value, really good value. And that was working from this old idea of this using this metric with, with 2x events literally being twice as good for legendaries as non-2x, I worked out that these were still really good value. And I knew the Mercy system was there, so I said that's going to push it even more in these events' favors uh, for the legendaries. So that's what I'm, I'm looking at, okay? Um, I will say as well, guys, that there is a strong possibility, I would say, of a, 
Ancient Guaranteed. The last one was Staltus back in November. Also, by the way, shout out to Chosen for making this graphic again. Um, <laughs> Staltus was back in November 2022. That's been quite a while. That was the last guaranteed from Ancients. We've had loads of Void guarantees since then. I think it's quite possible that we could have a guaranteed from Ancients for 150, maybe even I would consider saving even up to 200 Ancients just to be safe uh, because they have, as you can see, been increasing the cost of these guaranteed events. Um, uh, well, really this year, right? November, December, January, uh, January, January, the last few, they've all, prices are skyrocketing. So maybe 150 is not going to be enough, unfortunately. Um, yeah, he was the last one. We've got a double legendary from Ancients tomorrow. We've got two X Ancients this weekend. So prepare for one. But what I did as a sample case, I said, what if I pulled for every single, every single guaranteed legendary for Ancient Shards, which I think is actually fairly doable if you're like a late game player and you're just going to save your ancient shards for this. Um, because I, I did that right from, I started from March and I got, I got Pinthroy, Rathmatab, Kandrafon, Ragash, uh, Goffred. I got Stealth as well. I've got them all since then. Before, before uh, Archbishop, I wasn't in a position like back here. Uh, I, I wasn't far enough in the game to be able to save up those shards. It wasn't possible, but since then, since about two years into the... Well, no, less than that. A year and a half into the game, I guess? Yeah, about a year and a half into the game, I've been able to save up enough Ancients for every guaranteed. So I said, hey, let's use this as an example, and here we go. So these are all the guaranteed legendaries for Ancient Shards. Let's add it up. There they are. And what do we get? Well, uh, oh, slight spoiler. Um... But from March 21, which was the first that came test licks, all the way to November 22, so over a year and a half, more than that, um, that's 1,541 ancient charts. That's how many were in there. And if we apply this numbers breakdown to it, what do we get, right? So if we were to pull in only 2x events, 87.3, uh, ancients per shard. Remember, we've got a fairly, probably not quite big enough to be honest, but big enough for the purpose of illustration. I think we've got a, a okay sample size here. You really need a bigger one. Um, I worked it out. It's actually 17.6, I think it was. 17.6 legendaries is what you get, random ones from 2x events with those one and a half thousand shards. Pulling in non 2x events. Uh, now, Goffred actually was during a 2x. I don't think any of the others were. But anyway, we'll just assume that all the guarantee legendaries were not in 2x events. 1 to 8.5 per shard, because again, the Mercy system is removing all of our bad luck. And it's, uh, well, our good luck is just good luck. You would actually get about 12 legendaries, right? 12. So it's technically... We'll give it 6. We're rounding it up. It's actually like 17.6, I think. Um, <laughs> so let, let's say that. Which would you rather have? Would you rather have 5.6 random legendaries if you pulled all your ancients in these uh, 2x events? 5.6 random legendaries. Like if you make a decision right now, okay, here you go. I'm going to give you either 5.6 random legendaries or you can have Countess Lix, Lady Kimmy, Vizier Ovalis, Genzin, Gamora, and Archbishop Pintroy, Rathmatab, Kandrafon, Ragash, Goffred and Staltus. You can have all of those. That's 11 legendaries. Which would you rather have? 5.6 random, which obviously can include even better ones than those. It can also include way worse ones than those. Or would you like to have these 11 specific? Uh, for me, it's clearly a no-brainer that these guaranteed are so much better than 5.6 random ones. Um, but I guess if you want to hear more about why it's such a no-brainer, if it's not obvious enough... Um, Check back for part two, because in part two, I'm going to be diving into, I think, the second part of this question, which, uh, yeah, you, you'll see when we get there. But this has been part one, anyway, of this shard pull exploration, which I hope that you've enjoyed looking at 2x versus non-2x. And really, the summary, my, my conclusions, my takeaways are, that I think for early game uh, to mid game, 2x is still worth it because of the epic chances, and also because it's not reliant on your Mercy Timer. Mercy Timer has a much smaller effect on 2x events. So you don't need to track your Mercy Timer. You don't need large numbers of shards, right? You don't need to have large numbers of shards stockpiled to ensure that you can hit your Mercy Timer to exploit 10x events uh, and double legendary events and stuff like that, where you need to have lots of shards. Um, that is the advantage of 2x. More epics, you don't need to stockpile, you don't need to check your Mercy. It's a much simpler way of playing and I think that fits well with like your first 
good few months, first year or so. Uh, I think, though, once you get to mid-game and late-game, definitely late-game, you start pushing further, these random legendaries, this small increase, well, it's not small, but, you know, this decent but not as amazing as 2x would lead you to believe increase is really becomes quite underwhelming, and I think it becomes much better when you are later in the game to start playing around your Mercy timer, tracking your Mercy timer, and then applying that Mercy timer uh, to... Well, things like 10x events, believe it or not, do things like double legendary events like we've got coming up here today uh, to, yeah, potentially to guaranteed events if they ever start doing good ones for reasonable values again. But um, yeah, it's, it's quite a big change looking at it. Long story short, though, are 2x events actually 2x events? The answer is no, because the mercy timer removes all your bad luck outside of 2x events, or most of it anyway. And actually, 2x events are 1.47 or 1.55 events for legendaries. And they're pretty good for epics. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to check out those guys in the uh, description down below if you want to see the other videos on this. And I will see you for part two soon. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.